Today's the day. I'm finally going to take the vintage off-road wrecker off-road and I'm doing the first thing that I need to do, which is fill it up with fuel, especially since the fuel gauge doesn't work. Let's get to the off-road grounds, find out how bad this truck is right now, if I need power steering, if it weighs too much, if it's too big for the trails, are the open differentials going to be a big problem? I don't know, let's find out. I haven't really shown inside here yet, but I'm missing the original headlight switch. That's been moved to a more modern type switch. My speedometer was working when I got this truck, but it's no longer working. And the fuel gauge doesn't work at all. It looks like it has good oil pressure. The generator's working. And the engine is staying nice and cool. I've made it down to the local off-road grounds. There are a few other people here, so if I get stuck, hopefully someone can rescue me. First thing I'm going to do is try out some wooded trails, and that is the most common off-roading that we do here in this area. It will give me a good sense of, is this vehicle too big? Does it weigh too much? What issues am I going to have on the trails around here? So let's get out there. Put it in a four low. the entrance to the trail. Should get a sense pretty quickly if I'm too wide for this. I am in second gear right now. No problem, just crawled right up. Okay, this is what I thought the problem was gonna be. You see the, the wheel is getting ripped out of my hands there. If I were to be hitting rocks, this wheel could just go spinning like this and rip my hands off. So I think power steering is what is going to transform this truck because Size-wise, I'm not having a problem. Power-wise, it's got plenty of power, even in second gear. It actually doesn't seem to be any wider than the Bronco I had. I think I had more problems trying to fit the Bronco through here than I am this. Okay, the wrecker did just hit a tree there. I'll have to watch for that. This right here is one of the tightest turns out here. We'll see if I have the turning radius to make it around here or not. I'm at full. No, I guess I can go a little more. My rear end slid. Okay, I couldn't turn sharp enough, at least not quick enough. There's a tree right in front of me. My rear end slid around. And it looks like if I back up, I'm gonna be very close to hitting that tree there.
I do like that the mirror does not stick out further than the body, so I don't have to worry about hitting my mirror on things. Here's a good test of how big this vehicle is. I can squeeze between these two trees with most of my off-road vehicles. I think the Bronco might have been the only one that I couldn't get through here. So let's see if this fits. Okay, I'm getting very close. But no. Looks like it cleared. So that is definitive proof that this is not too large of a vehicle for the types of trails that we have around here. Now that my tires are filled up with mud, let's try a few of the obstacles. The course is pretty overgrown because nobody has used it yet this year. But let's give a few of these things a go. Boy, I wish I had power steering right now. This first obstacle is a little bit of a gatekeeper. You will get high centered if your truck is too long. Let's see what happens. Well, I cleared that just fine. Now this little rock garden is going to be a good test of the differentials. See if I lose traction in here.
I think that was a very successful first test. It looks like power steering is going to be first on my list. The truck did everything that I expected it might be able to do. Of course, I didn't push it to its limits today, so I don't know its full potential, but I do know that it will be a whole lot better if I have power steering. When I was going through the little rock garden, it was about ripping the steering wheel out of my hands. And since the steering will make such a huge improvement, I want to do that first, and then we'll really push the truck. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.